Might move on now. Foreign investment is an issue that always causes tensions within the federal coalition. The Nationals and some rural Liberals are often more cautious about foreign takeovers than their city Liberal colleagues. And two decisions before the Treasurer Joe Hockey relating to Warrnambool Cheese and Butter and Grain Corp are threatening an upset inside the government. Mr Hockey today approved an application by Canadian firm Saputo to make a bid for the Warrnambool company. Dan Tian is a Liberal MP from country Victoria. I spoke to him earlier today. Dan Tian, welcome to Capitol Hill. If we could start with the decision today by the Treasurer to allow the bid by Saputo for Warrnambool Cheese and Butter. Now, it's not only an international company that's bidding for this company, Australian companies are. What, what are the pros and cons of the bids? So we've had Saputo, the Foreign Investment Review Board and the Treasurer have come and, has come out today and said that they can bid for the company. We have Murray Goulburn, uh, who is a, a cooperative company. They're also uh, seeking to get control of the company and Bega, another Australian company. So really this is one of the regulatory steps out of the way for one of the players. Uh, Murray Goulburn uh, going to the Australian Competition Tribunal to get clearance for them to be able to bid and obviously Bega has their bid on the table already. And, and what are the, the different things those bids could provide? Presumably it's got to do with the company's the Warrnambool Cheese and Butter's ability to uh, either compete locally or to compete overseas? So Saputo have come out and said that they will leave the Warrnambool Cheese and Butter management uh, in place. They will continue to employ uh, all the people in, in the two factories. Uh, they've also said that they provide scale in able to get the product to overseas markets. Uh, what Murray Goulburn and Bega are both saying is that if they were able to take over Warrnambool Cheese and Butter, we would get an Australian company of size and scale which could compete on the international market. Although the Australian bids would would mean perhaps a lessening of competition in Australia? Well, that one of the, the concerns, and this is what the Australian Competition Tribunal will have to decide with regards to Murray Goulburn, is, is whether them taking Warrnambool cheese and butter over would diminish competition locally. So they'll have to weigh up, OK, do we need to have an Australian company of scale and size to compete internationally, uh, and especially given that Murray Goulburn is a cooperative, so the money goes back to the dairy farmers, do, does that mean that the, the, the potential diminishing of competition uh, really doesn't matter in this case, and we do need to have a company of, of size to be able to compete with the Fonterras and the Saputos of this world. Now, this isn't the only decision which may or may not uh, depending on what the shareholders decide, involve foreign investment that you're looking at that affects people in your electorate. The other one is the question of Grain Corp. Do you believe that, that from the talks you've had with the US bidders, Arch Daniels Midland, that concerns about the potential sale of Grain Corp to ADM could be overcome, could be dealt with? Uh, look, the, ultimately this is a decision for the, the Treasurer and the, and the Foreign Investment Review Board and I've got strong confidence in the Treasurer that, that he will look at all the pros and cons of the bids and, and do what he thinks is in Australia's national interest. I think one of the, the shames of, of the ADM bid for Grain Corps is unlike with Warrnambool Cheese and Butter where we've got two Australian companies and we've also got an international company bidding so the shareholders have a, a clear choice. Uh, with Grain Corps we only have the one and it would be fantastic if we had another Australian player who was also putting the proposition that we need our own locally grown company of scale uh, to compete here elsewhere, uh, overseas. But we don't have that so I'm sure the Treasurer and the firm will, will deal with the matter as they have with Warrnambool Cheese and butter. Are you hearing concerns from uh, perhaps grain growers in your own electorate about foreign investment or, or how do they see the place of foreign investment? Uh, look, look I've, uh, with the um, Warrnambool cheese and butter bid and also with the uh, grain core bid, uh, in my electorate the discussion has been, OK, what's in the best interest of, of the farmer? Uh, on the farm gate price and of the nation. And it's been a, a very good discussion regarding all the issues. And I must say, uh, as a local member of parliament, that has been extremely pleasing. For instance, with the Warrnambool Cheese and Butter uh, bid, there was a meeting not directly relevant to it, 
but dealing with these issues of over 300 dairy farmers in Warrnambool last night where the options were being put, OK, if we did want to try and build a, a, an Australian company of scale, how could we go about doing that? What would be the, what would be the advantages of it? What are the potential disadvantages of it? So the, the debate has been very level-headed and dealing with the issues, which, is, which has been terrific. In the end, the decisions about from the Foreign Investment Review Board are those for Joe Hockey as mm. Treasurer alone. But we do know that the Nationals are very strongly opposed to the sale of Grain Corp to ADM. There's also some suggestions that there's a bit of a city-country divide, even amongst uh, uh, Liberals like yourself representing country areas. Is it less clear-cut than that? I, I think so. I mean, these are the types of issues where you want to have a passionate debate about them. People need to be able to put their views and their opinions. Uh, that's what's happening. But in the end, um, the Foreign Investment Review Board and the Treasurer will, will make the decision, and I've got full confidence in the Treasurer, uh, that he'll make the right decision and make what is the right decision in Australia's national interest. In, in the end, could the worst possible outcome be a decision to approve the bid but with so many conditions that it becomes unworkable, given there's not another bidder for Grain Corp? Well, that, that'll be up to the, the Treasurer. He has to decide uh, if, if he goes down that path what conditions might be and is that in the, in the national interest. And, um, you know, Joe Hockey is someone who firmly believes in the national interest and I'm sure he'll do exactly what's right by Australia's national interest. Is he seeking the views of MPs who have a, an interest in this debate? No, I think he's, he's decided that he needs to make the decision himself rightly and take the advice of the Foreign Investment Review Board and so I think that's the correct process that he's taking and I think that means he'll get the decision right. Dan Tien, thank you very much for your time. Thanks Lyndall. And we're joined again by Labor MP Stephen Jones. Dan Tien, Liberal MP, hasn't been able to make it. Uh, Stephen, Dan Tien was talking about foreign investment. You have an electorate which has industry in it. How do you think your voters view foreign investment? Well, I think at large people might uh, feel uh, that you know, they're a little bit uncomfortable with the notion of foreign investment, but when you give them an example, as I can, uh, about a, a mine within my electorate was, which was on the brink of being liquidated.